Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Well, not another video, this is my first video. So, hi, I'm Jackie, um, and I do have a surf dog. So, my surf dog is Bella Blue. Uh, she's an Italian Mastiff, and she's huge. I don't have her here right now, uh, because she's down getting dinner right now, but I just, I'm up here filming a video because I don't really feel very well. So, I'm like taking a break from everything. Uh, so I just decided to film a gear haul. Uh, she doesn't have a lot of gear, but I just decided what we have so far. So, and what like we use mostly. So, I'm gonna start off with like, like training stuff. So this is our treat pouch. And as you can see, our portable water bowl. Uh, is on the side. It's not really popping out, but that's our purple water bowl. It's not very big, but the size of my hand. Um, so, moving on. Uh, the this came. Uh, my portable water bowl came with this yellow clip, so I just clip it on to the side of my uh, training pouch. Um, so. On both sides of the training pouch, there's these two uh, plastic V rings. So I just hooked my uh, put water pull right there. So that's why that's what we put the water bowl on. Uh, so let's move to the front. So this brand is from Hero Dog Pet Supply. So um, that it says right here in big bold letters. Sorry, my window is open. So above the like symbol, there's a zipper pocket, uh, and it's pretty decent. I could fit my whole hand in it. Um, I usually put like uh, maybe extra poop bags, um, even my phone, a few extra treats, just in case I run out. But I usually don't. So that's why I put in that zipper pocket, and this mesh pocket right here. I might put like maybe um I know other people like my friends uh they uh they put like their uh e-collar uh controller in here if they're not using it but I usually put my headphones in here or maybe extra like I don't know but or maybe some Kleenex because we don't really use this pouch but yeah so moving on to the middle, this isn't a magnet clip, it is a drawstring, which I don't really mind. I know people like prefer magnet ones, but I don't really care. Uh, there is a divider in the center of here. So on the front like half, I usually put like uh, her, maybe her favorite ball, my extra meds for me, um, all that stuff. And then also in the back, I'll put the treats. So, I use blue buffalo treats, by the way, in case you guys were wondering, but that's what I usually get, nothing too special. So, what a cool thing about this uh, tr uh, treat pouch, it can be uh, like a purse style, it could clip around me, or it could clip to my pants, which I usually do. So, this is the back, here's the clip to the pants right in the center. And then there's two loops right next to it so you could put the straps of the belt so and then on the very bottom there's a poop bag poop bag dispenser so and then there is a secret little pocket right here and I usually just put her poop bags in there so this is our training pouch Okay, so next. Um, here's like she does have a collar that she wears all the time. I also have one, uh, somewhere, but I do know where it is. I think it might be downstairs, but it is a purple collar. But that's a really old one, so we bought a new one. 
It is by the brand Kong, and it is like a turquoise kind of color. Uh, you'll see a matching harness with it. So, um, so with her, um, so she does wear a prong collar. Um, I don't use an e collar or a chain collar. I am. I don't hate e collars. I don't hate chain collars, but I just chose to use a prong collar. So I just have an extra large prong collar. So that's what I use. And she wears that with her collar too. So here's her leash. Um, it's just a plain old like six foot leather leash. Uh, it looks pretty plain, uh, but the nice thing is it's really easy to uh, go like that. Uh, and also it's like, it's waterproof, um, which is nice. Cause, and she likes to chew on it. Like if we're just playing out and we're going for like a fun walk when she's like not working or like I let her like take a little run, um, I, she can chew on it and like try and pull me and like, but so it's really easy just to wipe off her slobber off. So, and the nice thing about this it can turn into a, around the waist and over it and but it can't turn into a traffic lead so what i just do um i pull it through can you pull through Thanks. uh so there you go you can go around the shoulder which i usually do if i'm like doing my hair or if i drop something i can do that and then i can just drop it like that and there it is because i don't really mind going like that and then also instead of like you can just pull it and it goes straight back but to go for a traffic lead i don't really mind this but i just like wrap it up to go like that like to give her like that much leash so that's her uh, leash and her collar. So next on to vests and harnesses. I'm not gonna show you guys my stickers just because um, they're pretty basic. It's like sheriff's dog, uh, please do not pet, like uh, no, like uh, no, like staring, touching, talking. So pretty basic ones, but. So here's the con harness that I was talking about. This is her training harness. Um, the nice thing about this, it's very light. Um, with Bella, since she, since she is such a big dog, she needs light vests, light harnesses. So th the, this one works out great for her. So with it, she puts her head through this. I just put on the bottom and it clips onto here. It comes with one metal D-ring up here, and it does come with a pull strap, which I don't really need to use since she is so well behaved. Uh, so this is just her training harness. Pretty basic, and this is the color of her leash. I mean, uh, collar. So, but a lot less dirty because <laughs> she loves to play in the mud. So, this is her uh, training harness. And these are all metal clips, which I think is amazing, except for the one, like, on the, on the bottom of her. But, like, these clips are metal, which I think are nice. So that's her training harness. Um, last but not least is her vest. Um, it's pretty basic. Um, I just, I got it from someone on uh, eBay. It. so it's not really that bad her first uh vest that i got rid of because my other dog completely chewed it up so i had to get a new one so it's just a plain black one um so i this is her only vest um so if you look at it this is like where her head goes uh it's not really that big, but there's a Velcro strap right here, and then it, there's an also buckle, like 
adjust it so so that's the front and then it comes with a pull strap also um metal o-rings so and then two velcro patches on the sides and then i am planning to get more velcro to put one above and then also like one right here so and it's just pretty standard that's your vest and that's it oh she also has um two uh i mean like uh po like boots uh but i just can't find them right now so i might have to get new ones but they're pretty simple they're from petco uh they have a pat like a silicone bottom and then breathable like air top they're not from rough wear but i am planning to get one from rough wear so i mean she doesn't mind them but oh she also has palm ball uh palm like paw butter because her paws do tend to get dry so i don't have that with me and it, it's like uh like like it's from like the brand like dog bow tie i think i don't know but we got it a, like a long time ago and we're still using it which i'm surprised so i that's it i guys i hope you guys have a good day and like and comment on this video and hit that subscribe button and help me like grow my youtube channel so bye